Miss America move over. It's time for men to walk down the runway. Good evening, I'm Candace Hacey, and welcome to Evening Magazine. Tonight, we're at Simmons College for the fifth annual Mr. Simmons pageant. The all-female college is looking for the ideal male, the one with the talent that can dazzle, the body that will make you pant, and the brains to make every woman fall at his feet. They're in rehearsal right now, but we'll find out who's crowned Mr. Simmons after Barry tells us about the rest of tonight's show. Well, from a group of young men that seem to have no stage fright over their first beauty contest, we'll be going to meet some folks that have a great deal of fear about something that's quite common for many of us, flying. Hi, I'm Barry Nolan, and we'll be attending a class that helps people come to grips with their fear of flying, come to grips with it quite successfully. We've also got some good ideas for you tonight. Beverly Sassoon gives you some good information on the proper way to give yourself a manicure. Dr. Jim Wasco will test your knowledge of heat stroke. Kathy Mann visits the world's largest costume factory and discovers costumes once worn by Elizabeth Taylor and Marilyn Monroe. But first, it's time to go back and join Beauty and the Beasts. Three hundred and sixty-four days a year, Simmons College in Boston looks like any other women's college. Coeds crisscross the campus, pens drift across paper, eyes pour over Dickens or Darwin. Yeah. Why is an orphan so much warm an outsider? And... But one day every year, Simmons goes berserk. This is the fifth annual Mr. Simmons pageant, a takeoff, if you will, of Miss America, complete with gym short, talent, and IQ competitions. But who will be crowned tonight? Well, somehow, they persuaded me to be one of the judges who would determine the fate of one fortunate fellow. He will charm the paper off the walls. He, he's very friendly. Um, he's, he's cute. Um, it, he's just his whole aura. Number 15. If you can charm the judges and the audience, you have it about wrapped up. That's how Mistress of Ceremonies Sheila Anthony described the ideal Mr. Simmons. And she should know. After all, she and an entourage of valiant Simmons women combed the colleges of Boston, Harvard, Berkeley School of Music, Brandeis, and MIT to recruit the 15 contestants. As a conscientious judge, I took full advantage of the pre-pageant Get Acquainted Tea to find out from the men themselves what they thought it took to become Mr. Simmons. It takes talent, uh, patience, a lot of nerve, because uh, it can be pretty embarrassing to get up in front of you trying to act handsome. It takes, more than anything, PMA. PMA, what is that? Positive mental attitude. And you're loaded with it. I'm loaded with it. Oh, man, I can't believe what I'm doing. It's uh, just be, be yourself. That's the way I would say to all the contestants. Hmm, okay. I think I'm going to enjoy this competition. <laughs> Now, Mr. Simmons of 1978 clinched his title when, in the talent competition, he cracked jokes while balancing a pencil on his nose. As for the talent among the 1981 hopefuls, well, see for yourself. Judging business is one tough job. I'm 
I'm going to speak to you on the essence of love. Love can mean many things to many different people around the world, and it does. And the seventh semifinalist is number 10, Bob Chase. Well, it's not enough to have looks and talent, so the seven semifinalists have their intelligence and poise challenged. Describe your personality in three words that begin with S. Sexy. The second one, sexy. And the third, Sensation. If you were to describe your first date through a sport, what would it be and why? Send the tail on the donkey. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. The winner of the 1981 Mr. Simmons pageant is number 15. <laughs> The new Mr. Simmons must speak to his subjects at the start of his reign. Thanks a lot. Without all those people here, it would not have been possible. And, you know, <laughs> I'll certainly be frequenting Simmons and much in the future. I hope to see you all there. You know, stop by and talk to me a bit. I'll tell you a thing or two about love. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not a bad judge of characters, or I mean character. Obviously, number 15 convinced my fellow judges, too, that he could charm the paper off the walls. This MIT undergrad is bound to be the big man on this campus this year. We'll be back with more of Channel 4's Evening Magazine.